Guys, uh, you might remember my last video about the retro pry. I was setting it up. Kind of got a little confused. I was pretty tired. Uh, basically, I couldn't see the systems. I didn't know why. I thought I had to go back and install them. But really, all you have to do is transfer some ROMs over. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I also put a real keyboard and mouse instead of the mini. Um, that way it should be easier. Escape. I'm going to press escape. Let's try some other things. Go back. Okay. So let's go to settings here. I'm going to leave select options. So, I guess we're going to click on RetroPie here. Yeah, there we go. There's the option. Okay, now right here, show IP. Either go write this down or just go straight to your computer. Uh, do it If you do it this way, um, you can transfer ROMs through FTP, which is the way I'm going to show you. But you could also just put it on your SD card or use a USB drive to transfer it. But uh, I think I'll go with the FP FTP. Uh, it just seems like it'd be easier. So uh, I'm going to go on my computer, write down this uh, this IP address, and show you guys what to do. All right, be right back. Guys, so what you're going to need is a FTP client like WinSCP, which is a free one, uh, and you're going to need a ROM. Uh, I actually own this game, so to totally legal. Then you're just going to take the IP for your RetroPie machine, stick it in there, username Pi, password Raspberry, and make sure it's all lowercase. Uh, let's go. Connecting. All right. So my ROM is on the desktop. So let's switch that. This thing's really slow, though. Wow, that's so slow. So yeah, maybe there's a better FTP client you can use because this thing does not like to work for me. There we go. So there are Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So let's go into RetroPie, ROMs, and then you'll see all the systems here. This is a Super Nintendo game, so I'm going to click on Super Nintendo. You see all the other ROM, or all the other emulators here. So I guess on the uh, RetroPie, they won't show up. The systems won't show up until you actually... Uh, load some ROMs over. Um, I'm not sure whether the BIOS are already in there for certain ROMs or if you have to move those too, but we'll see later on. Um, so for now, just do that. I'm finished, so let's see if we can go and play this game now. Okay, so we're back on the uh, RetroPie here. Let's check the file manager. Well, sorry. Check the file manager. Okay, see that? Go up, I guess. The fuck? No one's just get me out of here. How the fuck do I get out of here? F10. Fucking shit. How the fuck do I get out of here? Option 10. 
Get the fuck out of here. Zero. Okay, that's ten. Okay, so let's see what I got to do. Press back. Does Super Nintendo show up? No. So let's try the menu first. Scraper? What's that? Skip, 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 skip. Let's just restart emulation system or emulation station. Do we got Super Nintendo? Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. So let's load this thing up. So I guess you have to restart once you load the ROMs through the FTP. Okay, let's launch this thing. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess that's all you do, guys. Um, check back in for more. I'm gonna show you the setup I got. Uh, I got the uh, 8 bit dough uh, controller, the Bluetooth SNES 30, I guess it's called. I also got a r real keyboard. It's not home uh, or wireless, but I'm going to get a wireless.